So now we can come to uh, the closure under countable unions. So let uh, E n n equal to 1 to infinity be a collection in C mu star x. Uh, we suppose that this is a disjoint collection because even if it is not a disjoint collection we can rewrite the union as a disjoint collection by using the lacunae formula and we can reduce to the, reduce to the case when it is a disjoint collection so we will prove that uh, to show that the union n equal to 1 to infinity e n is Kara theodory measurable. So, let a, a be any subset and by countable countable sub additivity we have that the mu star of a is less than or equal to mu star a intersection this e let me call this e a intersection e plus mu star a minus e so this always holds by countable subadditivity of the outer measure mu star so it suffices to show it suffices to show that mu star of a is greater than or equal to mu star a intersection e plus mu star a minus e. Now to show this we know that any finite union of e n's belongs to c mu star x for any capital n greater than or equal to 1. So, this is by the finite uh, uh, closure and the fin finite unions. So, uh, using the Kara theodory property, uh, condition we get that mu star of A is greater than or equal to mu star of A intersection this finite union plus mu star of A minus this finite union. Uh, now, we, we can compare the second terms in this inequality and in this inequality. So, by monotonicity, monotonicity property, we get that mu star of A minus this union, finite union, is greater than or equal to mu star of A minus the infinite union. So, this is again E. So, the second term is greater than or equal to second term here is greater than or equal to the second term here. So, we only need to show that the first term is greater than or equal to the first term here. So, to show that as we take the limit as n goes to infinity of mu star a intersection of the union this is capital N going to infinity of these E n's. This is greater than or equal to mu star of A intersection the whole union from 1 to infinity. This is E. So, to show this we use again that this union n equal to 1 to capital N E n. Uh, we know that this belongs to C mu star 
x. So, for the set A intersection n equal to 1 to n plus 1 E n, we have mu star A intersection union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 E n. This is equal to mu star A intersection union n plus n from 1 to n plus capital N plus 1 E n intersection with the union n equal to 1 to capital N E n. So, this is our test set and this is our uh, set which belongs to C mu star of x. This is a test set which means that this plays the role of the carotheodory condition for arbitrary sets. So, this is the first term and the second term is a intersection union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n minus n equal to 1 to n e n. So, we will we can analyze what these two sets are. So, because since these e n's are disjoint from each other, this means that a intersection this union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n intersection with n equal to 1 to n e n. This is nothing but a intersection uh, union of n equal to 1 to capital N e n. So, check this result holds check this and the second term is a intersection union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n minus union n equal to 1 to n e n a intersection e n plus 1 minus this union n equal to 1 to n capital N of the E n's. So, again check both these conditions check that they are valid. So, then we get on the left side mu star of A intersection union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 E n is equal to mu star A intersection n equal to 1 to capital N E n plus mu star A intersection E n plus 1 minus n equal to 1 to capital N E n. So, now this is a recursive formula because we have here we have n plus 1 and here we have n and so we can uh, rewrite again this term with n minus 1. So, this is equal to mu star A intersection capital N minus 1 E n plus mu star A intersection E n minus union n equal to 1 to n minus 1 E n. So, this is simply the first term here and plus we have the second term here A intersection E n plus 1 minus union n equal to 1 to capital N E n. So, we see that we will get terms of this type repeatedly and so this is in fact the sum n equal to 1 to capital N plus 1 mu star of A intersection uh, e uh, n e n minus union 
k equal to 1 to n minus 1 e k and now we can take the limit as capital N tends to infinity on both sides. So, so on the left hand side we get limit N tends to infinity mu star of A intersection uh, k from 1 to N e k and on the right hand side we get k equal to 1 to infinity mu star rather n equal to 1 to infinity a intersection e n minus union k equal to 1 to n minus 1 e k. On the other hand, we also have that the mu star of A intersection the entire union from k equal to 1 to infinity E k. This is uh, less than or equal to this sum because we have mu star of uh, this is the union of uh, n equal to 1 to infinity of these sets. So, A intersection E n minus union k equal to 1 to n minus 1 E k. So, this is less than or equal to this sum which is nothing but the limit on the left, uh, left hand side mu star of A intersection k equal to 1 to n e k and this is what we wanted to prove this is what we wanted to prove. So, we have shown that this implies that c mu star of x is closed under countable unions. So, now we have to show that mu star restricted. So, again to show restricted to c mu star x is in fact a measure. So, then let E k or E n be a collection of disjoint sets in C mu star x and we have to show that mu star of the union n equal to 1 to infinity E n is equal to the sum mu star E n n equal to 1 to infinity. So, again uh, it suffices to show only uh, that the LHS is greater than or equal to the RHS because LHS is less than or equal to RHS by countable subadditivity. Additivity. So, to show this, uh, we know that the mu star of any finite union of E n's is less than or equal to the mu star of uh, the infinite union. So, we are done if done. So, this is for any uh, any capital N greater than or equal to 1. So, we are done if mu star of n equal to 1 to n E n is equal to the sum n equal to 1 to capital N mu star of E n. So, this is the finite additivity rule, but uh, since we do not know that this outer measure satisfies this finite additivity rule, we have to prove it. <coughs> so, from the Cara Theodore measurability, Cara Theodore condition 
for union of n equal to 1 to n e n applied to the test set the set union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n we have that mu mu star of n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n is equal to mu star n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n intersection uh, with the union n equal to 1 to n capital N e n plus mu star union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n minus n equal to 1 to capital N e n. So, this is nothing but e capital N and this is nothing but so, let me write it in another page. So, this is nothing but n equal to 1 to capital N E n and the second term is nothing but uh, n plus 1 sorry E n plus 1. So, by induction this implies that mu star of union n equal to 1 to n plus 1 e n is the sum n equal to 1 to n plus 1 mu star of e n and we are done. This concludes the proof.